and open it up to any questions that you um, might have. Craig, hi. Hi, this may be too soon, but what do you think your district will look like? Ah, your district. Okay. So the new maps are coming out September 22nd. All right, so then the council votes on them. We either vote them up or down. If we vote them up, those are the new maps. If we vote them down, then the commission has to go back to the drawing board, do a new set of maps, but that's it. We have no ability after that to vote again. On. So as you probably know, I um, came out strongly against the maps because it takes a huge chunk of, well, it's Roosevelt Island, or obviously right now, it takes a huge chunk of the east side and puts it in, um, in Queens. And so I heard from many of you, hundreds and hundreds of people contacted our office and based on the feedback I got, you know, we did that. And let me also take a moment to acknowledge my colleague who's here, Assembly Member Rebecca Seawright. So, um, where will the maps be? We, we don't know. I mean, one of the issues, and I used to be a redistricting commissioner in 2002, so I have that perspective, but you know, it's hard. I mean, the city has grown by over 600,000. Our district had to shed, so no matter what, the district lines are changing. There's no scenario where we can keep our lines static. We have to lose. So some part of the district, is we have to lose, and that's just a fact. Hi. When, uh, when you just acknowledge that some part of the district will be lost, yes. how does it affect Roosevelt Island? Is Roosevelt Island the most likely well, we geographic don't, entity we, to be lost? We don't, we don't know. I mean, there's no likely scenario where it's going to be this part or that part. And it's like, I don't want to lose any part of my district. I love the district as it is. Um, whether Roosevelt Island will stay in the district or not, again, we, we just we don't know. Roosevelt Island has a larger population than the amount that we need to shed. So, you know, by taking Roosevelt Island, you know, it, there's so many other ways that they can redraw these lines where they would take the population that we have to lose without Roosevelt Island being taken out. What is the population of Roosevelt Island? Is, oh, is it over 10,000 now? It's over 10,000, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sorry, can you all talk a little bit louder to the Oh, sorry. You're saying was asking a question about Roosevelt Island and will it stay in the district or not. We, we don't know. On the 22nd, we will see what happens. But Roosevelt Island's population is significantly larger than the amount that I would need to lose. So, you know, there's many other ways that they can redraw these lines. Thanks. And you know the system. Is there a new strategy uh, currently playing with the caucus uh, potentially challenge the redistricting maps, or is there yeah, and that's a great, great question, okay, because there is constantly, as we all know, litigation around any new district day. Um, we haven't seen these maps, so that's very preliminary to see. We don't know, anyone who tells you they know what's in these maps, that's not what they're talking. We don't know what's in the maps. Only the commissioners know what's in the maps. So we'll see what, what happens, but um, obviously there are Department of Justice rules that have to be adhered to. There's so many standards. 